It was a cosmic sort of happening when our eyes met that day. You were not the type to typically turn my head, but I looked your way when you looked my way. You looked into my soul. You must have seen something you liked there when you looked into my soul with your deep and penetrating stare. It did not make me feel uneasy. Au contraire, and I found I sought another round. I too liked what I found there. Before I knew there was you approaching the dance floor, I was grooving with Scott Nolan and you came around for more. I liked you. That I could say for sure. Though I did not know a thing about you but the eyes below your hair, I didn't care. I wasn't looking to meet somebody here, but I was willing and welcoming to go and share a beer. I got called off on business as is wont to happen in my bar, and when I returned there was you no more. The day progressed as any other Sunday at the creek, and I hoped I would see you again before the night expired. I was in luck more than I dared to hope, for there was you with your fiddle at the backstage fire. And that was the beginning of an epic kind of song. I'd strum and sing and you'd stroke your strings the whole night long. When others played, we'd sit and chat and my intrigue grew no less. More than once again, you'd pierce my soul with those eyes that mess. Eventually, you grew weary. Too weary to remain. I have had many years of practice here. No, it is no shame. I saw you packing up to leave, so I too found an excuse to go. Handy that my mom needed help packing rowing down the road, you walked me home. I fed you Washington fruit, for shame. I invited you to come and meet my friends, and you came. When you mentioned your own chicks, you nearly blew my brain. So I lay in my hammock, weary, and we talked an hour more. You said you wanted to come and see my farm, and I said, sure. Then you made your way, barefoot, back to a hammock of your own. And I didn't think it could be real that I was going to take you home. When the next day you came through, you blew my mind a little more, and with every hour passing through the day, I became sure. I still could not believe that you could be real and true, but before you ever kissed me, I was falling in love with you. We talked about relationships of all kinds on the drive home, and so many times words came out your mouth that could have been my own. We stopped in the middle of nowhere, we went for a walk, we ate of wild prairie things, drank beer, and we talked. Onward and outward to my home, you really did come through. And by the time we got there, I was so stupefied, I didn't know what to do. There was you. You understood me. You took me for who I was and who I am. And despite the weekend dirt, sweat, sores, and ill in my gut, you held me all night long. You stayed again. And oh, you stayed two days. And every time I turned around again, you would amaze me. I love who you are and everything I know about you. I love the way I feel like I can be me around you. I love the music we make together and the music you make in my mind when you're next to me or when we're leaving us behind.